Okay, so look at this problem here. This is a very interesting problem. So an instructor gives an exam with 14 questions, okay? Students are allowed to choose any 10 to answer. Number one, how many different choices of 10 questions are there? This should be very simple, all right? This is a 14, so this is 10, okay. Then starting from here, we get a little bit more uh, involved here. It says, suppose six questions require proof, okay? And eight don't. So how many groups of 10 questions contains a four that requires proof and six that don't, right? Well, uh, we can select the four out of six, right? So six choose four, and then times, um, you know, eight choose six. So that will give you um, the answer, okay? And turns out, uh, if you can do mm, a calculation here, six factorials, four factorials, and then two factorials, right? Times eight factorial, six factorial, two factorial. So that will give you um, 15, right? Times uh, 28, okay, 28. And then um, turns out that uh, this will give you, it's a 420, okay. And then part P, uh, par, uh, second part is how many groups of 10 questions contains at the list that one that requires proof. So let's let's look at this problem again. Um, at the list of one, right? Because you only have eight problems that do not require proof. Uh, so, no matter how you select, do you agree that you're gonna always have at the list two questions require proof? In other words, no matter how you select, you're gonna always fulfill this condition here. Right. In fact, you can even read this one into two, right? So, so it's gonna be again. So, gonna be a fourteen choose a ten. Okay. So number three. So, how many groups of contains at uh, uh, at most of three? Right. At most of three, that requires um, proof. Here. Well, when we're talking about at uh, most of three. Um, the thing is, you need to think about all the cases, because from part B, noticing that no matter how you select, you're going to have at least a two, right? So when we're talking about the at most of three, basically it just includes those two cases that have two proofs and three proofs. That's it. So when you're starting to do the selection here, when you have six chooses two here, and then eight gonna choose this eight. Okay. And then plus six choose three times eight choose seven. That's it. So that's that's everything um, you need. Okay, you need. So, so yeah, so that that's uh, that's this question. Uh, so uh, I'll stop here and uh, thanks.